Good evening, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, evening headlines on November 29, 2022. Russia-Ukraine war live. Air raid warnings across Ukraine amid fears of fresh strikes. NATO won't back down on aid. The Guardian, Ukraine war, Moldova braces for blackouts. BBC, live, Kyiv faces lengthy power outages amid fears of more Russian strikes. France 24 English, Ukraine Russia news, live, Putin's troops continue to bombard reclaimed Kherson. The Independent, Ukraine war, Zelensky expects more attacks and nuclear plants still under Russian control. Mexico's planned GM corn ban deep concern for US. BBC, US. Threatens legal steps over Mexico's planned GMO corn ban. Reuters, Mexico's planned GM corn ban deep concern for US. Big polluters given almost 100 billion euros in free carbon permits by EU. China targets older people in COVID-19 vaccination drive. The Guardian, China ramps up vaccine campaign after COVID lockdown protests. The Times, China ramps up COVID vaccination for elderly after rare protests. Al Jazeera English, why the race to plug China's immunity gap is stalling. Do the right thing. Do authors use Autopen? The Guardian, Bob Dylan apologizes for machine printed signatures. BBC, Bob Dylan apologizes for using a machine to autograph hand-signed books. Daily Mail, Bob Dylan makes rare statement to apologize over signature controversy. The Independent, Bob Dylan issues ultra-rare public statement as he apologizes for $599 book blunder. Great Barrier Reef flagged as, in danger, World Heritage Site. What does this mean? The Guardian, Australia argues against Great Barrier Reef's recommended endangered status. Sky News, Australia's Great Barrier Reef is, in danger, UNESCO mission says. The Washington Post, Great Barrier Reef should be placed on World Heritage, in danger, list, UN-backed report says. The Guardian, Australia's Great Barrier Reef should be on, in danger, list, UN. Train strikes, pub boss warns walkouts could ruin Christmas plans. BBC, Transport Secretary hails constructive meeting over rail dispute. Fakenham and Wells Times, Mick Lynch, government has shown lack of urgency in dealing with rail strike. Evening Standard, Fuller's boss calls on RMT to axe walkouts before Christmas party season. Daily Mail, rail strikes, Mark Harper warned he has nine days to prevent Christmas travel chaos as union talks go to wire. Three Palestinians killed in clashes with Israeli forces in West Bank. BBC, West Bank, two brothers among four Palestinians killed by Israel. Al Jazeera English, four Palestinians killed by Israeli fire in occupied West Bank. The Independent, four Palestinians dead, soldier wounded as West Bank violence flares. Al Monitor, three Palestinians, two of them brothers, shot dead in clashes with IDF. Zero Covid policy. Why is China still having severe lockdowns? The Guardian, China protests, authorities fight losing battle against zero Covid. BBC, China protests, why are there demonstrations and what is the zero Covid policy? Sky News, China's Covid crisis demands terrible choices. The world will suffer if this goes wrong. The Guardian, opinion, how China lost the Covid war. Mitt Romney calls Trump a gargoyle over disgusting Kanye Fuentes meeting. The Independent, Trump urged to apologize for dining with Kanye West and Holocaust denying white nationalist. Sky News, Jewish allies turn on Donald Trump for hosting Holocaust denier Nick Fuentes at Mar-a-Lago. The Times, denouncing Trump Fuentes is a ploy, not a principle. The Atlantic, why Trump's dinner with a white supremacist is so revealing. Canada won't compromise values in relations with China, says Foreign Minister. The Guardian, what is Canada's new Indo-Pacific strategy? Canada to deal with China's disruptive global power. WION, Canada's big move days after tense Justin Trudeau sheet chat caught on video. NDTV, geopolitical risk in doing business with China, Canada unveils new Indo-Pacific strategy. News 18, Canada calls out disruptive China in Indo-Pacific strategy. Welders wanted, France steps up recruitment drive as nuclear crisis deepens. 
Reuters, energy crisis prompts desperate search for nuclear workers in France. China protests paused as police flood streets and temperatures drop below freezing. Sky News, China Covid protests, UK summons ambassador over journalist arrest. BBC, UK summons Chinese ambassador over, completely unacceptable, beating and arrest of BBC journalist. The Independent, UK summons Chinese ambassador to foreign office over police, beating, of BBC journalist in Shanghai. Evening Standard, UK summons Chinese ambassador after arrest of BBC journalist. Ukraine Russia News, live, First Lady urges MPs to, keep world awake, to Putin's war. The Independent, Canada says NATO fully behind Ukraine through hard winter. The Guardian, Jen Stoltenberg, NATO helping to rebuild Ukraine's infrastructure. The Times and the Sunday Times, NATO Secretary General in Bucharest, no lasting peace if the aggressor wins. NATO HQ, Putin trying to use winter as war weapon against Ukraine, says NATO Chief Stoltenberg. China COVID, Chinese protesters say police seeking him out. BBC, China COVID protests, police turn out in force to tackle white paper movement. Channel 4 News, blank paper becomes symbol of China's protests, BBC News. BBC News, The Guardian view on China's protests, zero COVID, maximum frustration. The Guardian, editorial, protests in China have a pre-revolutionary feel to them. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.